All right, uh, so today we're coming out here doing a demonstration for the uh, elementary kids here at uh, USAG Humphreys uh, with the military working dogs as far as our capabilities and and just letting them see, you know, that we're out here as a force multiplier and for force protection. Traditionally, military working dogs have been used over the centuries, uh, back in World War I, World War II, Vietnam, uh, Korean War, all of these. Um, and, you know, definitely the capabilities of the military working dog has improved over time. You know, we went from being just sentry dogs to uh, using them for explosive detection, narcotics detection, as well as uh, sentry work. Um, and, you know, we just definitely bring something new to the battlefield as far as saving lives and, and being able to do the things that we do. Uh, the demonstration we did was uh, basic obedience, you know, show that the dogs, uh, basic obedience is the foundation of everything that we do. Um, so if your dog's willing to listen to you, the dog's willing to perform any task that you give it. Um, and then we did uh, some sessions of aggression training, uh, basically uh, sending the dog on a bite, uh, the standoff. If an individual decides to give up, you know, we want the dog to be able to be recalled and not bite the individual. Um, and then uh, just the search and escort, you know, your dog has to be willing to listen to you and escort uh, apprehended subject back to your vehicle. The elementary kids, they always love to see the dogs. Everyone really likes to see the bite work, uh, so that's what we really push on the demos, the bite work and the obedience. Um, but they love it. Every time we come out, we bring the dogs out. They have a great time. They have a million and one questions, so it's always good for us to get out here and, and tell them what we have to tell them um, and for them to see the dogs. Uh, I just want to uh, tell everyone, you know, um, there's opportunities out there if you are interested in adopting a retired military working dog. Uh, the Lackland Air Force Base is where we do all of our training and a lot of the uh, retirements go out of Lackland Air Force Base, so get in contact with them. These dogs need new homes. Um, they need their forever home somewhere they can go sit on a couch and just enjoy their last few years of life.